Hello everybody, this is Tech Enthusiast and today I'm going to show you how to make Windows 10 look like Mac OS Big Sur and the video you are currently watching is the final result of this tutorial. And you should also subscribe to the channel because our goal is to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this month. Don't forget on the like button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new video I post daily. And I should also mention that this is the updated tutorial to my previous one and should also pop up on right corner right here. So let's continue with the tutorial. First of all, we will be installing macOS Cursor. So open up your web browser and search for macOS Cursor on DeviantArt. And if you haven't already registered on DeviantArt, you should do so because you will need to be registered to double on stuff. Click on that arrow and click save. And now extract files you just double on that. And now right click on the install file and press install. And when installing is done, open up Windows Search and search for Cursor. Now click on pointers and change Cursor to macOS. Now unlock the taskbar and move it to the top. Head back to your web browser and search for Rainmeter. Now here I installed beta version, but you can also install final version. I just installed beta version because it's newer. And now unload all the pre-installed skins. Head back to your web browser and search for macOS Big Sur widgets on DeviantArt. And now same as before, extract the files you just downloaded. Now double left click on the green raindrop to begin installing Rainmeter skin. Here I chose light version of the skin, but you can also choose dark version. Now you can rearrange widgets by your liking. Head back to your web browser and search for Rocket Dock. When the file is downloaded, click it and install it. Now in this folder, first 5 folders are skins for the rocket dock and copy it in the program files 68 and search for rocket dock then search for skins and you can also delete all of the skins in this folder. When that's done, head back to your downloaded rocket dock skin folder and copy the icons in the program files rocket dock icons and paste it in this folder. When that's done, open up Rocket Dock. Now here I chose some settings, but not all of these settings are a must. So choose your settings by your preference.
I'm just stopping by and telling you guys that our goal is to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this month. So subscribe to the channel, like this video and also turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And now let's continue with the tutorial. And now I will show you how to create shortcuts for Rocket Doc for Windows apps such as downloaded from Microsoft Store or even Windows settings. Press Windows key plus R key on your keyboard to open up Run Manager. Type in Shell Apps folder and that should also pop up Applications folder on your screen. Pick whichever app you want and right click on it and create shortcut on desktop. When you created that shortcut, just drag it into your Rocket Dock. Right click on your icon and change the icon by your liking. In this example I showed how to change icon for settings app. And for every Windows app downloaded from Microsoft Store, you should also in the target section paste this command. Now you can also change icons of other programs by your liking. And now I will show you how to auto hide your taskbar even if you don't have activated windows like me. Open up CMD and type in this command. Don't worry, I will leave it down below in video description. Open up your web browser and search for Droptop 4, which is macOS like taskbar for your Windows PC. And you can also choose whichever settings you like and not these ones I showed in this tutorial. Open up your web browser and search for Microsoft Power Toys. Then go to their GitHub repository and download the latest version.
and when these settings are configured, you can now press Alt plus space on your keyboard and the search window should pop up. So I found this wallpaper on Reddit and it was for mobile phones. Then I modified it in Photoshop for desktop use. And I will also leave it down below in video description so you can download it by yourself. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this tutorial. And if you haven't already, our goal is to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this month. So please subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn on notifications bell and also comment down below what is your opinion on this tutorial. And I see you all in the next video. Peace.